Hey everybody, today we're going to be showing you how to take off. Sometimes I want to get away from where I am, and I don't mean by walking or taking the bus. Sometimes I want to get really far away. I want to go where nobody knows me, nobody recognizes me. I can't walk that far, so what I do in these situations is go to my local airport, and I see if there are any pilots who might be willing to fly me with them. I'm not talking about going to a big airport where there are tons of people getting on huge airplanes to go on trips and stuff. That won't work. You've got to pay for those big flights and I'm not a millionaire. Luckily, there's a small airport in the town next to where I live, so sometimes I'll go there in the mornings and wait outside of the little restaurant they have there and I'll ask people as they're leaving if they're pilots. If they say yes, I ask them if they're flying anywhere today. If they say yes, I ask if I can go with them. Most of them say no. Some of them get mad, some call the police, but every so often one of the pilots will have a kind heart and they'll see the suffering in mine eyes and they'll say, sure thing little buddy, I'll fly you out of here. I'll fly you far away so nobody can hurt you. And I thank them and I kiss their hand and I smile. I don't have a pilot's license myself, but I've been doing this for several years now and I've spent quite a bit of time inside these small planes, so I've learned a thing or two about flying and taking off is definitely one of the most important parts. I used to be scared of it. I used to have to close my eyes, but not anymore. I conquered my fear of taking off when I realized that taking off meant that I was getting away from where I was. I was leaving. I was going far away. That wouldn't be possible without taking off, and once I understood that and appreciated it, I began to love it. Now, whenever I take off in one of these little planes, I get so excited that I start giggling and shaking. Sometimes the pilots notice and ask if I'm alright, but I just explain that I'm excited and then they usually leave me alone. It's really exhilarating, the feeling of being in this tiny, poorly constructed vehicle that's traveling across the ground so quickly that it begins to levitate. It's amazing. Nobody can run as fast as I'm moving when I'm taking off. Nobody can catch me. Nobody can stop me. I'm flying. I'm getting out of here. I'm flying. It's beautiful. I shouldn't have drank so much hot chocolate before we left because I really have to pee and poop, but it's beautiful and I'm crying and I'm happy and my stomach hurts and it's just so beautiful.